Well, as Nigerians are waiting to hear who would be declared winners and losers of the governorship and House of Assembly elections, many issues have yet again been thrown up from the exercise, from violence to suppression, to vote buying, to very low turnout by people, to the resolve by some who came out to cast their votes and the postponement of elections at some polling units. Well, we continue with our analysis of the exercise, even as we give you updates as the process continues to unfold. Well, we'll join us live right now is Mayoko Ilo, a political analyst. Hello, Mayoko, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Maureen. Good to have you. I am Maureen Menongwezigwe. My co-host is Justin Akadonye. Yeah, thanks for joining us, uh, Mr. Ilo. And also we have our correspondent standing by at Ogun and uh, at Kano, State. Kano State, who will be giving us live updates from those states in the course of the program. However, first of all, let me speak with you, Mr. Mayo Kuilo. You used to be a governorship aspirant at some point, but also speaking as a Nigerian from all that you've observed, this election, well, build up to the election and the exercise have thrown up lots of issues. Uh, as I, I said a while ago, lawlessness, tribalism, violence and fear, especially but not particularly uh, in Lagos. Let's start with the tasks ahead of whoever is sworn in as governor in Lagos, in Rivers, in Delta. What are the tasks ahead of them? towards building and mending fences. discussion that needs to happen like like yesterday. There has been uh, issues of uh, voter suppression, intimidation, voter party, violence on large scales you know, uh, coming from most places in the country, you know, I don't know how materially those things will affect the outcome of the election, but uh, however insignificant it may seem, we want our elections to be peaceful. So uh, from my own corner, I think I will propose a referendum of some sort to actually discuss uh, the, the issues bordering on election and representation as uh, regards the kind of democracy that we claim to be practicing. Wherever it is we got this from, this is not how they do it. People should be able to freely elect their leaders. People should be able to have some kind of dialogue about what it is that uh, maybe they are afraid of in their, in their neighbors or in, maybe in the other party. You know, I've seen some posts, I've seen some tweets even from uh, supposed leaders of the country. And at this point, somebody said, okay, if you vote this party, you are my enemy. I will never greet you again. Some even young guys will be telling you, I'll delete any contact of anybody that is sympathetic or is a card carry member or is an aspirant on the ballot of this other party. These are not the kind of uh, things we want to be hearing in 2023. Fine, now uh, have been straight, but uh, I've been afraid rather. But at the end of the day, we are all Nigerians. We are one people. Uh, we should not give in to the bad uh, instincts of our nature bad angels as they will call it mm. so we should try and uh, be more civil be more enlightened be more accommodating of uh, one another i don't want the kind of problem that happened in rwanda in the 90s to have any any foothold in, in nigeria we should see ourselves as neighbors as as brothers and sisters and uh, the next president should take on the task it's it's not something that should wait for the next four years because uh, asking uh, somebody that is benefiting from uh, from a, a bad system to support change may be a bit difficult, but we will appeal to the better angels of our of our nature so that we will do whatever needs to be done so that there will be change. All right, we'll come back.